Hello, men, women, and Asoros, and welcome back to Let's Play Space Engineer Season 2. Last episode, we worked, we were started our construction project on working to upgrade Outpost Alpha. I got most of the main room completed, and now I'm going to start work on the CIC, as well as, you know, some other shenanigans that we need to get done. Alright. There are flight seats in here. They're the, they're the control stations. Not going to be a particularly large CIC, just, yeah, something small. Probably going to be mostly glass here. Maybe a 2x3 window here. Yeah, then maybe bring it in. We have a lot of space in the back. Feel this will be a job for construction ship again. I should probably get some of these joints welded into the welding. A back section of the welding ship probably not gonna get to. go. Looks a little, yeah, looks a little odd when you look at it like that, but this is scaffolding's for. Keep it mounted in. Look even more weird if it wasn't there. Probably gonna throw in some glass there as well. need to extend the gravity generator stuff. Okay, so gravity range. Or not, this feature never works for me. Push one foot on and then show gravity range. There we go, that's how you get the work. You can't just hit one button apparently. Gravity generator field width, maybe? Yeah. So maybe if I extend the field width to 40. Forty five maybe. Yeah, close enough. on this place. Okay, good. Honestly, everything's in place. Welding ship will require your services again. Let's get this attachment built in. Alright, I need to load the cargo container. There we go. I'm going to throw at least one more gun turret on the bottom of the station. I think that should be good for defenses. Overall for outpost alpha. OK. 
Okay, that looks about good. Bring this into the landing again. Not that this scaffolding is going to be here much longer. rather. We need two by threes. Inverted. 25 girders and 140 bullet hoof. Can't do that. Scratches are still on. Keen lied. Okay, need to get another batch of that, and I might just throw a wall up on the other two points. Maybe I can use this conveyors for a turret. Hmm. Possibilities, possibilities. I don't want the inverted. Okay, I'm gonna have to switch this up to 50. There we go. That looks about good. And just for now, we'll throw those there. As I said before, I might use the mounted side mounted gun turret. Probably will. Take that out and weld this up. Do that when we cut through here. This needs a conveyor tube. Pretty nifty. Surely if we remember approximately where that is. Here ish. Nope. Here. Nope. 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 We are zero for three on finding out what we need. There we go. This is a mounting point for the bottom mounted gun. Maybe we'll throw a side gun. Yeah, maybe we can run a conveyor tube through here, mount a side gun or something on that, in addition to the normal conveyor. Alright. We might need to move the antenna though if we did that. this out. Okay, good. And let's throw ourselves a flight seat here. Might set up the uh, LCD screens, but I'm not 100% sure on that. If I did it, I'm going to do it off camera because that's some programming shenanigans. Cockpit. How feel of you do you get? I don't have to look at, but better than nothing, I suppose. Let's grab maybe a hundred of these. Three hundred of these. Fifty of these. And a hundred of these. Let's get to work on building these conveyors. Right. 
like the mayor up and running. Yeah, it does look like there's a bit of a gap there, but I'll just pretend that doesn't exist. running. Perfect. Got to be running through here. Let me knock that off the list of things to build. Throw a conveyor in here. Landing pad's gonna run through there, Gatling gun off the side there. And one more conveyor to add in. This one down here. Boom shakalaka, we will be in business. For the most part. Let's add in those last couple of gun turrets. Four gun turrets. I initially said two or three. Ah well, you never have enough guns, I suppose. Five metal grid, thirty computers to finish all these things. Gun two is in place. Gun numero three up. And last but not least, gun number four. missiles and everything else. Actually, I'll get these uh, defenses. Uh, actually, yeah, that's fine. So you don't target stations, I don't think we need to deal with that much. Alright, all the guns are in. Things next. Get these ships off this landing pad here. You can move over here now. So can you. And now I gotta need to mine some uranium later. A lot of it. I think I have designing a better mining ship for the Enterprise. Something that can work well on a lunar environment. You know, is the scaffolding can go now. All of these unnecessary parts.
good. Take that. Close this. Four motors and small steel tubes. I believe a display and two computers. Let's see us a completed door. Da 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 da. Rear door technology. Okay. Doors are done. Next, let's run that tube. I'll finish these up later. Now for the fun part. Designing the landing pad itself. It's going to be how big we want the pad to be. I think that's a good size for the landing pad. sort out lighting as well, among other things. Alright. Next, we need to load the mining ship up with about as many steel plates and metal grids as possible. As we know, welding heavy armor blocks is a pain in the asshole. shall see. But first, let's also get these dealt with. So, 120 construction components. We have 18 motors. 36 small steel tubes. Should be fine. Alright. Now to begin the welding process.
Yeah, I need more metal grids. Lots of them. I'm also going to need a show on HUD. Gravity range. I need to extend the gravity well with much me doodle. Landing pad. Okay, what would that be? That'd be field depth, correct? Yep. So if we extend that out to 50 meters. That gives us a nice gravity well. now. What was me? Steel plates first. some lighting and things like that. We're going to add some light to the pad, as well as a few lights inside the base as well, but that's all going to be off camera because, yeah, you guys probably don't want to see that, and this episode is going to be running a bit long. I don't particularly want to dedicate three episodes to working on this. So yeah, off camera, I'll sort lighting out in dull groups and other minor shenanigans in this base, as well as mine a butt ton more uranium, and probably some more ice as well. Never have enough of either of those. That's well good. We're only gonna need 65 more metal grids. To finish everything up. I'm also gonna need more steel plates. landing pad for this kind of stuff. Okay, so 66, 149, that'd be 83 more steel plates. Yep. Math. Alright. Good to go. Now let's also grab our drilling ship and park it on the pad as well. A little bit of a squeeze for two ships, but worth it. But it works. Okay. Now the last thing. Conveyor tube. I want to put the tube here. Eh. Probably going to move this up one. Of those, or those, 
750 steel plates. Construction components. Twelve small steel tubes, eight motors. And twenty computers. Let's rebuild our connectors. Our connector. Trip conveyor tubing. Connector going here. There, that looks about. That looks pretty good for the pad. I'll just walk these up, and we will be good to go. Boom! Boom. That is this base done. For most part, like I said, I still gotta do lights and probably a few other minor details here and here, but this is it. Outpost Alpha, fully fleshed out. Still not much, but that gets a little better. Got more guns, got a proper pad, and I like it. It's home. No, well, home, we're not on the Enterprise, but that's gonna be all for this episode. Next episode, Outpost Alpha will be complete, and we'll either start on a new mining ship or a fighter craft for the Enterprise. Probably a mining ship. A different, much better mining ship. One designed to work in a lunar environment. And then after that, we might start working on our lunar base. But until then, Wings from Take up the controller and have a good time. Peace out, peoples.